Welcome to Nashville, Tennessee, Music City, USA, and home to the Commodores of Vanderbilt, who hope today they will hit all of the right notes. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see, the number six team in the country, the Texas Longhorns, taking on another team from the SEC, the Vanderbilt Commodore. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. And the Longhorns will get us underway with the opening kickoff. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner will be brought down. So the Vanderbilt Commodore's offense is going to be backed up thanks to that lackluster return. And there he is, a man who makes an entire stadium hold its breath every time he touches the ball, Jesse. This defense better had a lot of breath in this game, too, because he gets better as the game goes on. He's the kind of guy, David, who can wear a defense down. And he is the primary focus. That's what this defense is focused and keyed in on. we got to stop him if we're going to have success today. After picking up a couple at second and eight, Looking downfield, it's Fabia. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots, you read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stuff, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking downfield and he needs a bunch. Finds a crease at the 20. He'll get it out to the 25. Not bothered at all being backed up and they've got a first down. That is the exact situation that every defense draws up. I want you in third and long. I want you in a predictable passing situation. But I don't want you with that guy because that guy can run around, scramble, buy time, make third and long look like third and short, and pick up a first down. They'll throw it on first down. Quick completion on the out route. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the change with the first down. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route running. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots and zones. you got to get him involved. And the Commodores look to keep this drive humming. Give to the running back. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Might as well stick with him. Dances away from one. What a good one there. He has enough for the first down. And running backs are so good, so talented, so elusive. You see nowadays they really have the ability to make you miss, run you over. Unbelievable effort. Nice job. You keep that going, you're going to be hard to stop. The Commodores come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Leaves it with the running back. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The lone back's got it. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. He's got his man. 
Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Scanning the field, it's Pavia. Gets it out fast. Nothing but green ahead. Touchdown, Commodores! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. You love as a head coach to watch your offense take the field and establish a rhythm and consistency the way they did there. Everything they dialed up was working to perfection. They go 10 plays on the opening drive and cap it off with a touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7 0. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Longhorns offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. One way to mitigate the explosive capabilities he has on the outside is be physical with him, and this dude will do that. He will do that, and you don't see a lot of offenses take the top off this day because of this guy roaming around in the middle of the field. He is a true center fielder, so this receiver is going to have to make plays. I just does such a great job of getting guys on the ground. A lot of people are in position, but he makes plays, so him versus a dynamic wide receiver on the outside would be a great matchup. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Got it behind the line. It's Moore. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. I love early in a game getting my quarterback in a rhythm. Coming out, short passes, easy completions. Now we're getting in a good spot. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Looking downfield, it's Ewers. Using the quick game. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And, of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. At the 45 on his way. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. The Longhorns want to move quickly. Caught behind the line. It's Bond. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Well, you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense on their heels. Used the play fake. Now to throw. He's got an open man. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Longhorns! One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy. The connection between quarterback, wide receiver, you can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play.
Lining up for the PAT. Blitz the uprights. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Dropping back, it's Pavia. Getting some heat. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. A third and long coming up here. It'll be a draw. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. When those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Here comes the Texas offense. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance. Can anyone catch him? Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. And the Longhorns are in the hurry up. From the gun, the running back has it. Not much room, a pickup of two down to the 28. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. They'll try the counter. They pull him down after a four-yard gain down to the 24. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality. Offensive line gets to assert themselves. Run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. This third down play more than manageable from the 24. Can the defense stand tall? From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. He'll try to put up the three ball from 43 yards away. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And with that, they've taken the lead. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. 
Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. Works his way ahead for three. They'll spot it at the 18. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Got three on first down at second and seven. Quick strike complete. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. And the Commodores have a first down. And that's so tough as a defense because they only got to get inches. But I got to find a way to somehow get a knockback, stop the running back's feet right there. I couldn't do it. He gets downhill just enough, and he gets the first down. It's a good job, too, there on third down by the offense because a major statistic in football in terms of winning and losing is how good are you at staying on the field, keeping drives a lot. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. How nice is it as a defense when you can drop seven guys into coverage, only rush four, and still get home? That makes you feel good if you're the D coordinator. We'll see if they can dig one up. It goes forward this time on second down from the 18. They try to pop a run on the draw. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Back to pass, it's Pavia. And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. The Commodores decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Running it back, it's Bolden. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. And I think it's for the play caller right now, just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here, baby. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. Hand off from the gun. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. Oh, you know what time it is when the defense gets that stop on third down. Fist up in the air. Nice job getting to the quarterback, putting some pressure on him, hitting him, forcing the incompletion. Fourth down, baby. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And they'll let that one go, and it'll roll out of bounds. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. 
And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Back to throw. It's Pavia. Pockets. He'll take the deep shot. Makes the catch down the right side. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. They'll go to the ground. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. The play action fake. Got it in the middle with Skinner. Able to make his way past the sticks for the first down, and the time is going to drain out here in the first quarter. We have the early makings of a quarterback duel, as these stats will show you. They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. And the Commodores are rolling down the field. They'll throw it from the red zone. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Man, this quarterback is going to need an ice bath when this game is over because he is getting whacked. We've seen him go down. He's been sacked time and time again. He just got nailed another time on that last play. He can't wait for this game to be over. Gets it out quickly. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. It's hard to have success on wide receiver screens when you're facing press man coverage because your blockers out front oftentimes can't pick them up and that receiver gets gobbled up as soon as he catches the pass. You saw it on that last play. Now facing a third and long. They want to just keep throwing it. Got his man downfield. Makes the catch with defenders everywhere and now the defense backed up with a first and goal from the five. Those third downs are hard to execute. And when you get in the red zone, it gets even harder. But this offense did a great job. Now, forget the three. We're leaving that behind. Now set up first and goal. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Going for six. Snagged in the end zone. Touchdown doors. Receivers do this every day, all day. Throw it up. I will go get it. I will stay in bounds. Nice job knowing where he was at on the field to get that foot in bounds, to get the big touchdown for this offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So now the Longhorns take over and they'll send out the offense. Looking for space, it's blue. Can't get him to the ground. On the move is a 30. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. 
Well, one of the things I love about these misdirection type plays is that you can pull offensive linemen and get extra bodies at the point of attack. So you're setting yourself up with good angles if you execute it properly, David, and you saw it right there. And saying the word angles means a lot because that's exactly what you do. Now I can block down and I can leave somebody unblocked, pull around, kick him out, use misdirection in the backfield. Really just get your eyes as a defense on something else and then go the other direction. Nice misdirection play call by this offense. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Let's see what they've got on second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Caught in the backfield, it's Bond. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. The Longhorns have it with a first and ten. Here's the handoff. He's there to make the stop. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Leaves it with the back. Sweet feet on the move. So as a defensive guy, they line up in a formation. You know they're heavy on one side, and then all of a sudden, boom, two guys pull, and they go the other direction. So you can't really load up and play that. That counter keeps you off balance as a defense and makes you really be honest. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. And they just kind of sneaked that one in there as a defensive guy, third and five plus. I'm thinking pass. They were thinking pass, Palmer, and they slipped the run in. And it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too, right? Because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off. And he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first, keep the drive going. Might as well give it to him again. And he's brought down after a nice game. Well, right away after picking up a first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back. And I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on a hat, opening a huge hole for the back. And you become so hard to defend when you can run the football successfully on first down. You're starting like that. Now what opens up? Play action. Now you're making me play pass and run. This offense, if they can create that run physicality, now it opens up everything else. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, trying to find his way to the goal line. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. Fires into the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Texas. One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. And David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down, when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. They go 83 yards on the drive, and they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. 
about to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game, so a lot to process and think about. Looking for a man. It's Pavia. Got his man quickly. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. I'll tell you, QBs and receivers, they practice these out routes all week long. And you've got to anticipate. You've got to be comfortable throwing it before he gets out of his break. And they executed it perfectly right there to pick up that first. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. Some misdirection with the counter. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And when you play defensive end, it's all about getting off the football. You can tell, gets off the football really fast, gets in the backfield, gets the running back before he knows what hit him. What a play by the defensive end. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. I love the anticipation on that throw by the QB on the out route. you got to throw it before the receiver comes out of his break. Nice work. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And how about that third down? They go five wide. They'd spread the defense out, and at quarterback there, you're just trying to find your best one-on-one -on -one matchup. You're making a quick throw, and you're picking up the first to keep the drive going. The Commodores are flying down the field. Looking to go up top on first down. Pressure's there, and he gets rid of it. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Man, the defense smells blood in the water. You can tell. They're getting to this quarterback over and over and over. They've already sacked him a couple times. They're just winning up front. They almost got another sack on that last play. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. He'll just keep slinging it. They'll run the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. I mean, he didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If he could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. And the defense gets to the quarterback. That defender did not care that the running back was setting up behind him on a screen. He was just thinking one thing and one thing only. See ball, get ball. He did that. And the Commodores send out the punt unit. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. So Texas has it again, and here comes the offense. How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up front doing their job, opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive worked. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? They want to be the most physical team on the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. This offense set up with a second and short. Wide receiver shows motion. To the air, it's Ewers. Unloads to the wide out. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. 
another big gain on the catch here. Big target out there like a Roy Williams was back in the day. No doubt. And find your guys, find your matchups. And listen, when you're at Texas, you recruit at a high level. You usually get better dudes than you're playing against. Find those guys, let them make plays for you. They move the tight end all over. Unloads quickly. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Longhorns! This offense is high octane, boy, and you just saw it. Not a lot of time needed for them to go all the way and score six. Well done. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with a scoring toss from the 33. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front. He's got it down the right side. The expressway is wide open. Touchdown, Vandy. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. You know, sometimes as a play caller, you just don't have to overthink things. I've got a guy who's faster than your guys, and he's just going to run straight down the field. I'm going to throw it way down the field. He's going to make the catch, and we're going to score a touchdown, and that's pretty much what just happened there. Lining up to add another. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. So see quarterback one snap, put it in the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Longhorn sending the offense back onto the field. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Well, they hooked up already once for a score today, so the quarterback's going back to him again deep down the field, but it falls incomplete. Now on second down after the incompletion. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. There's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. They'll give it to him again. Got behind those pads and picked up three out to the 35. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Using his legs, it's blue. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Yeah, and this offense is built behind this guy. I mean, a guy that you can hand the football to consistently and expect positive yards all day long, all game long. Now he's over 100 yards on the day. 
They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Looking to throw for it. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Turns it on down the left side. And he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Texas! This dude is lighting it up for the horns, and some old-school horn fans starting to think about that 500-yard four touchdown day Vince Young had against Oklahoma State. Yeah, and bringing back great memories, and there's been some good runs at quarterback. You think about Colt McCoy, too, man. He put up some serious numbers, some serious wins. Can this be the next guy to catapult this offense to bring Texas back to prominence? Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they cap things off with a touchdown pass from 59 yards out. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. Running back searching for a hole. They believe in that running game. Got six before he stopped at the 23. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. They're looking for an advantage to the right. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense is about seeing it and pulling the trigger, and you could tell they pull the trigger so fast, get to the back, get him on the ground quickly. Here on third down. Looking for a man. It's Pavia. They're bringing heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. This defense has taken the game over. They're winning the game in large part because of how dominant they've been up front and how good their pass rush has been. The Commodores will punt this one away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. And here come the horns. They've got it again on offense. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Pollock. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Fast motion from the offense. Dialing up a second down pass play. Throws for the tight end. Complete downfield. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And after that pitch and catch, he's already over 200 yards, and we're in the first half, Jesse. Man, Reese, he's dialed in right now. He's really doing a nice job seeing the field, reading coverages, and finding his open guy. Fires to the wideout. Connection to the right. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Well, you know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? It's their own defense. David, I know you love playing on teams with great offenses. The Longhorns have it with a first and ten. Back to pass. It's Ewers. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. They will score. Touchdown, Longhorns. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like, this is this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. you got to get some points on the board. you got to create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a whole lot to be positive about in the first half. If I'm playing quarterback, I'm locating my go-to guy at receiver. Who can I count on one-on-one -on -one to go and make me? And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. Wow, this offense is just stuck in the mud. They've already punted four times, and it's third down now. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays, but sometimes... You're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. Offense getting set for first down. He wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. Makes the grab. He's off to the races. Touchdown, Texas! And they take it in for six more points. How about the day for this young fellow? Three receiving touchdowns. Hey, defense, that guy's good. We might want to do something about it. Let's send two at him. Let's send three at him. We can't let this guy continue to beat us time and time again. Getting set for the point after. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, and now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Reese, they got to respond now. They, they, they got to put points on the board right here, cut into this deficit, create a little bit of momentum, because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. This offense doesn't have time to do that. They've got to be aggressive. They've got to throw it downfield. They've got to score points. And I tell you what, we've kind of gotten to the point where we expect QBs to be robots and just never to miss and always put it right on the face mask or right on the numbers. And right there, you could tell he just missed a little bit, a little bit off, and I guarantee he's tapping his helmet saying, hey, that's my bad. Just not quite able to make the connection. It's incomplete. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? And the Commodores will call on their punt team. On the return, it's Bolden. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. Here comes the Texas offense. They torch this defense with an explosive. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And it falls in complete. But it could have been much, much worse as the defender was right there. 
Smart offensive coordinators, they're going to throw deep balls, especially those 50-50 balls you hear about all the time. My wide receiver is better than your DB. Well, not on this play. And the incompletion brings up a second down. Looking to throw, it's Ewers. Makes his connection. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. And those slot receivers nowadays, they're little water bugs, man. You, you could play touch football in an elevator to lose to these guys because they're so quick and so dynamic. Get open and catch the football. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Catch in the middle, it's Bond. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. I mean, good news here. They get the completion. Bad news, though, not enough to pick up the first down. The target there, he's got to do a better job understanding where the first down marker is, make sure he gets the right depth on his route. Now, all of a sudden, head coach has a big decision. To make. First down for this offense. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Moves away as he feels pressure. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They got more sacks than a grocery store. Goodness gracious, time and time again, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground, this defense having their way. Throws to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. The Commodores will punt it away on fourth down. You'll call for the fair catch here. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead, Paul. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. After misfiring, it's second down. To the air, it's Ewers. Got him downfield. Racing down the left side. And he got away from the defense and takes it in. Touchdown, Longhorns! When these offenses get in a rhythm, they're hard to stop. Already up early, got a short field, take advantage of it too, get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. They're lining up to boot it away. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. And the defense doesn't let him get loose, and that's going to wrap things up here in the half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update.
Guys, a stirring start to things today in Nashville as we say hello from our broadcast studios. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at First Bank Stadium. And the Commodores will kick it away to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. So now the Longhorns take over, and they'll send out the offense. Trying to find his man on first down. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Holds and fires complete to the right. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the spot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. They'll try the run. Really nice pickup there as they have it out to the 44 with a first down. And listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I, I mean, I love teams that commit to the run, and when it's successful, keep running the rock. Yeah, David, I think this offensive line right now, they've got a lather going. They're really sort of getting in the groove and flow of this game. They're just getting tremendous push at the point of attack. It seems like every single time they decide to run the ball. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse, showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. And the Longhorns with the first and ten. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Lost one deep down the right side. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. Hey, man, they've got a big lead on offense, and they are still taking shots. They are challenging this secondary deep down the field. They barely missed that one. Let's see which way they go after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 39. Dropping back, it's Ewers. Finds his man in the middle. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You could tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall, trying to force a field goal try. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. I don't need it to be pretty. I just need my inches. Third down and inches. Nice job by getting the first down. Always fall forward. Play physical. Don't get east and west. Stay north and south. Nice job by the running back. Down to the 26-yard line and a first down. They're going to ride this running back. Finds a little bit of room. Give him a couple down to the 23. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Off play action. He'll take a shot. Touchdown, Texas! And the beatdown has ensued. And a really nice job understanding I got to get to that gap where there's a little bit of open space in the middle of the field when I run that post route. QB lays it out for him, and he catches it, gets two feet in bounds, 
in the end zone. Touchdown. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards, and they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. They're just about ready to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Not many receivers like to get hit. They just don't, okay? They're prima donnas. That's what they are. That's who they are. Nice job by the defender. You could tell. He was catching the football. He was going to put a hit on him to make sure he had to think about something later, and you could see the ball pop out and fall to the ground. Back to throw. It's Fabia. He's got his man. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I mean, I just lost yards on a screen play. How does that happen? This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that. You can show your exotic looks. You can get the pass rush going. Everybody in the back end expecting throw, and that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. The Commodores will send out the punt unit. He only needs a sliver of daylight. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but... That usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Halfway there on first down. It's second and five. Motion from the offense. He wants to pass it on second down. They've got the screen set up. At the 35, he's got room. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to the 27. No matter how many times they tell you to look for it, it is tough to defend a perfectly executed screen. Yeah, because I'm trying to go get the quarterback, and it looks everything looks like pass, but when you see it, when you see that screen, you got to retrace your steps, get back in the play. Nice job by the offense, but the defense just has to recognize that a little bit sooner. Moving closer to the red zone, it's at the 27 on first down. Wide out in motion. Grabbed behind the line, it's golden. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it's still a positive game. Just had a solid pickup on first. Now let's see what they've got on second down. To the air. It's Ewers. Caught. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. You know, the defense, they just haven't been able to find an answer for this guy throughout the course of the game. Obviously, he's got two touchdowns, picks up the first down there. They've tried doubling him. They've tried man coverage, zone coverage. Nothing working on defense. They can't stop him. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Give to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. 
And the defense is going to have to have more plays like this. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop. Maybe get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. Movement here from the tight end. Throws to the tight end. Touchdown, Longhorns! And the pummeling has started. If this dude were a kitchen knife, he would be slicing tomatoes so thin your in-laws would never come back to your house. <laughs> well, that'd be a good thing. I don't know if I want my in-laws to come back anyways, but he's been on fire. He's been absolutely torching this defense. They've had absolutely no answers for him. He'll try to tack on one more. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. Just about set to kick it away. He'll return it. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. Pulls it in. It's Skinner. Yeah, he threw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion. Nice catch. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. Back to throw, it's Pavia. Unloads to the wideout. And the ball is picked off, bringing it back. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. And that's why as quarterbacks, you cannot telegraph the pass. You cannot stare down your receivers because these defenders, they're watching him. And that defender knew exactly where the QB was going with that football, and that's why he picked it off. And the sudden change situation, even more difficult for this defense facing a first and goal. Wide receiver now comes in motion. A first down run in the red zone. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. They'll keep it on the ground right up the gut, looking for six. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. And as an offense, you've got an unconventional call. You're trying to get your receiver the ball using pre-snap motion, but you've got to do a better job up front blocking. Couldn't get it done, and now it sets up fourth down. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. He was on target with his first kick, and this one ought to be easy from 20 yards away. Good right down the boulevard. And they just tack on a little more to this gargantuan lead. Well, they're able to get a field goal and put three points up on the board after getting that interception. You wouldn't like to have seen the offense do a little bit more with that possession and give themselves an opportunity to score a touchdown. But listen, teams will take three points any way they can get it. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. Bringing it out. 
Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. You got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drop. After trying the running game on first down, they come to the line on second down. To throw, it's Pavia. Pulls it in. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets it up on the catch for the first down. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. He did a nice job of it. Now on first down from the 30. The gift to the right. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He's looking to throw. Moves around to clear up the vision. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. On third down, he drops to throw. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. This defense is heating up. They got an interception the last possession. You could tell breaking on the football really, really well. Seeing where the quarterback's throwing it, going to try to get it. Got another hand on it. Almost had another interception. And the Commodores will bring the punt team onto the field. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. So Texas has it again, and here comes the offense. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here, David. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. Starting a drive like that really builds confidence. First down from the 45. Works the middle of the field. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Wow, the quarterback knew he had to get that one to his receiver quickly on the end route. Did you see the velocity on that throw? This offense has a second down play. Off the play fake. Fires to the wideout. Caught over the middle. It's Moore. They've got the defense reeling right now with that big play to the 29. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. And when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of a guy in that slot position. Wide receiver shows motion. Wants to throw. It's Ewers. Quickly complete. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. The gift to the back. Defense there to stop him at the 20. Let's give him three yards on that carry. Ball is at the 20. They'll try to convert this third and short. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. 
So far, everything's just seemed to work for this offense when they've wanted to run the football. Regardless of what down and distance it is, they're able to get it done. Up front, getting a lot of push, and these backs are finding the holes. The Longhorns will snap it on first and ten. Looking for room. It's blue. Fights through the pile and picks up a couple down to the 16. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Fast motion from the offense. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Bond. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. To the ground to try to move the chains. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. And the Longhorns are threatening on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. To the air. It's Ewers. It's complete to the left. Defense makes the tackle, and that will probably be the final play of the third quarter. We've been treated to an aerial show by these two guys so far as you check out their numbers. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. Pushes ahead. Touchdown, Texas! And the punishment has been extended. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns on the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. He'll come out throwing on first down. Grab behind the line. It's Skinner. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Last completion sets him up on second down. Looking to throw, it's Pavia. Finds a tight end. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. You know, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and of being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job. And the pass is intercepted. He would have loved to make the big return there, but he still gives his team the ball at the 37. 
And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback, and DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. The Longhorn sending the offense back onto the field. What a good mix of plays keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they want. This defense doesn't know how to react from getting punched in the mouth on that last drive. So in this next drive, David, I think you keep running the football because that sets up the play action. It sets up the RPO game, and then you keep this defense guessing. They'll put it in play from the 27, first down. Now they'll run the draw. Yeah, and that's exactly what you want to do. Late in the ball game with the lead, establish the run, establish the physicality. And you know what helps? That clock up there, it continues to tick. So let's see if they choose to keep the ball on the ground and stay conservative and run that clock. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. New set of downs right on the doorstep for this offense. They'll run it on first and goal. Forges ahead for one to the eight-yard line. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Motion from the offense. The run up the middle, looking for the score. And they stop him just short of the goal line. They'll mark it at the one. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. They'll come to the line just one yard shy of the goal line on third down. They'll try to pound their way in. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Remember the offense. The offense goes with the run on third and goal, thinking they can push it in there and be physical. The defense is having absolutely none of that. Nice job by the defense committing to the run, being physical, and stuffing this offense. And this kicker is turning into old reliable. He's already knocked through a couple today. It's good. And that'll add three more to a lead that is already way out of hand. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. The returner will field it and bring it back. Slips through the line. Got a little room. Can they catch him? They won't get him. It's a touchdown. He just took it the entire length of the field, end to end, coast to coast, nationwide for the touchdown. And how about the fans in the stands going, no, 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 take a knee, take, no, yes, 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 yes. Over 100 yards for the kickoff return. Nice job taking that the end zone, making a huge play. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. So that one will put his name in the record books. You can't have a longer return in college football. 100 yards for six. They're lining up for the kickoff, and let's see if this return team can answer with a score of its own. And he'll bring it back. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. And here come the horns. They've got it again on offense. 
Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. They're getting this guy lathered up. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Small gain, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Now they'll run it to the right here. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Looking to pass. It's Ewers. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Really nice job by the defense. The offense has the whole playbook open to him on third and short. They try to slip in the screen. Did not fool the defense at all. Nice stop by the defense. The Longhorns line up to punt it away. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. They're going to open this drive with a pass. It's complete to the right. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. And with that pass right there, over 300 yards. That's a good day at the office, being able to execute, doing a good job seeing what's coming, anticipating, taking some shots today, but his hold really strong, put up some good numbers. Wants to throw on first down. Coming after it. Let's it fly. Incomplete thanks to the great defensive pressure there that sort of threw them out of rhythm. Man, this quarterback is living dangerously right now. Obviously, he threw a pick on the last drive. He's trying to complete that throw, but the defender gets a hand on it, tips it up in the air. That's oh no. That is an oh no situation. They're lucky that one hit the ground. On second down, looking again to throw. Makes the grab down the middle. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. I think that receiver really had two choices there. Catch the ball, or he was going to wear it in his chest. Yeah, he's going to be maybe taking a, an ice bath after too many of these curl routes. He catches them in the body like that. This quarterback has a cannon arm. The receiver found the soft spot in the zone, and, man, the quarterback gave him no choice. A strike downfield. Slicing and dicing through this defense, and they've got it down to the 23. You know, you just can't coach toughness in quarterbacks. This guy's been sacked multiple times in this one, and on that last play, he gets drilled again, but he delivers a strike. I'll tell you what, this, this guy's going to be in an ice bath after the game. The Commodores have their offense in high gear. Back to the air one more time. He looks that one in nicely. Now, I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's been that kind of day for this offense, right? It seems like anything they're dialing up just simply isn't working. But at this point, David, I don't know if it's even worth trying to run the ball. Probably not. You're getting destroyed right now. Nothing has gone your way. And when you're down this much, I, I think the running game is used sporadically, not as a staple. Let's throw this football around and see what can happen. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? 
Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. He makes a grab. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now a fresh set of downs. And the Commodores have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Vanderbilt! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. And this has been a rough day for this offense. And finally, some good things to happen. Build some momentum maybe for the future. You know, that's, that's the way the coaches spin it when you're getting beat up and you get destroyed. Like, listen, let's find something for the future. Let's keep fighting. Let's keep working. This team's done that. Put some points on the board. So it's not all bad. On to attempt the try. And it's up and good. So they put together a nine-play, 75-yard drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the Texas offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Wants to throw on third down. Heaves it deep. It's complete. A huge pickup. Nothing but green grass down the middle. Touchdown, Longhorn. And the route is on. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conserved. Because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring. And the defense better do something about it. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it with a flare, a 77-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Going up top on first down. He's right on target. And quarterback dropping back, understanding. I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. Offense gets set for second down. Looking to throw, it's Pavia. Pressure coming. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. 
And this has been one of those days you want to forget. I mean, you're getting drummed. There's no other way to put it. It's been a bad day. I'm trying to put a drive together here, maybe to just get some kind of momentum, something positive, maybe something in the locker room we can talk about that didn't go wrong. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. He's looking downfield to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Stowers. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Well, this quarterback now has over 400 yards passing. To do that, you have to have weapons catching the ball. You've seen that in this offense all game long. There are some dangerous playmakers in the perimeter. The Commodores will try to pin them back with the punt. Not going to risk a return here. Calls for the fair catch and makes it just around the 30-yard line. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. Still on his feet at the 45. They're ripping off chunks of yardage. They get it to the 33. Yeah, and this offense has had their way with this defense, and they've had a lot of success. And I tell you what, if this defense wants any chance of coming back, they better get physical and stop the run because right now this offense is having their way. So that big play changes the complexion of things. It's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll ride the hot hand. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll give it to the back. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Great team defense on that run play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Coming to the line of scrimmage at the 30. It would be a long field goal, but they'd love to pick up a few here on third and long. Dropping back, it's Ewers. Let's it fly deep downfield. Touchdown, Texas! And the stomping has commenced. And man, is that perfect timing. You could tell quarterback drops back. He sees his guy and he knows he's open, but watch the throw. Deep down the field, Palmer, right in the bread basket. Nice play, nice pitch and catch. He did a nice job of getting it up in the air early and allowing his guy to run under the football, locate it, and then make a tough grab. That is the definition of an explosive play. PAT unit on the field. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it up with the final 30 yards coming courtesy of that touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. On the move from inside is five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. This has been an old-fashioned fanny paddling, David. I mean, they... And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. And, man, is that a just indictment of the day. Your quarterback getting drilled late in the football game. This offense has sputtered. They haven't found any kind of good rhythm. They haven't done things that, that really gives your coach confidence and, and makes you want to believe in them. This offense has a lot of work to do before their next football game. Let's see if they can get out of their own way on second and long from the eight. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. 
And Jesse, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but you might as well start with a chunk play. Well, you got to start somewhere, Reese. It's been tough going for this offense all game long. They find themselves in a hole, but I love the aggressive nature. Keep taking shots. Keep trying to claw your way back into this one. And they got him for the sack. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just, you could tell they were dialed into what was going on. And now just throw another sack in the equation. Hitting the quarterback, being disrupted. They've been all over the field. First down sack pushes it back. Now it's second down. Looking downfield, it's Pavia. Trying to get to it. And he feels the heat coming, and it burns him up. Another sack. And this defense came to play. They know about the high-profile QB. They rose to the challenge and dominated the competition today. They took care of business, and they made no doubt about who's the better football team. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. They're trying to get to him. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. And I tell you what, this defense, they've heard all about how great this quarterback is. They came in today with a mission, with a purpose. They've been flying around, harassing him, and making life so hard on this offense. And the Commodores will line up to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. No return coming here as he signals for the fair catch and makes it right around the 30-yard line. And after this play, the cake will be baked. The give to the tailback. And they get him on the ground, and that's going to do it. Ball game is over. 